James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is December 26, 2022, 11.30 a.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in a geomagnetic storm. One of the indexes says we've been in a geomagnetic storm kp7 strong storm for the last six hours as you can see here but all of the models including the boulder model say that we're currently in a geomagnetic storm kp5 so what are we seeing again all models say that we have been in a geomagnetic storm for the last three hours and one model says that we've been in a strong geomagnetic storm for the last six hours, which I tend to believe. If y'all will remember, we had a filament release from the sun about 48 hours ago. And I warned everyone that the geomagnetic storm would probably hit uh, late today, which we're getting into late today. And we have in fact been hit by a coronal mass ejection from that filament that erupted on the 25th very fast moving but again it is almost the 27th within about six hours of it being the 27th technically All right heading over to discover our real-time solar wind indicator and satellite we notice that it's been turned completely off we see plasma yesterday at four centimeters cubed we saw the wind shoot up for no apparent reason yesterday. And ladies and gentlemen, again, this is from the 25th, completely useless. I guess they did not go back to work today, Monday, the 26th. Now, I do have the Discover One Day forecast for today that shows absolutely no activity, no plasma, no solar winds whatsoever. They have the impact coming in tomorrow on the 27th. Something is hitting us very hard right now. Let's check the backside of our planet. Over to our planet's magnetosphere. I see no bow shock whatsoever. There is no solar wind or plasma hitting our bow. Under heavy geomagnetic storms currently, what you're seeing here looks like it's being generated by our planet Earth to me. Uh, that would be best case scenario. Worst case scenario is it's stronger here behind the planet, night side, than it is in front, if you'll notice. Now, in this model, Earth is this little white and black circle here moving to the left at 67,000 miles an hour being pulled away from the Big Bang by our sun at around 544,000 miles an hour. And solar winds are usually over 1 million miles an hour. So you see distinct bow shock here. Right now, we have pl heavy plasma and pressure surrounding our planet, more heavy so on the backside or sun side that's not sun-facing which of course is constantly changing because our Earth spins every day 365 degrees. So what have we determined here? It looks like the, the plasma filament will impact tomorrow at some point. We're being hit by an alternative source of energy currently. All signs point to that very fact. I think you could agree. All right, I wanted to go back to Go's x-ray and see what could have caused this if it wasn't the film interruption. And all I can guess is perhaps this flare here, it was a C7.91, a very powerful flare, very well could be the source of this. But again, we see no bow shock, which to me is all but impossible. It could, in fact, be this flare here, the C4.54. But again, no bow shock as we move through space. Whatever is hitting us appears to be coming from behind the planet 
of the opposite side of sun. We do have Mars behind us, but I do not believe that Mars generates solar winds or space winds or whatever you'd like to call them. Your comments uh, and ideas are greatly appreciated below. Please let me know what you think may be going on. It looks like they do have it set up for the hit tomorrow. It's going to be from about, well, 9 to 3 this evening, nighttime central. So we should get some great sleep tonight. God bless you and yours. Share and subscribe. Always remember that anything is possible in the bizarro world.